Differently from wireframe representation, the shaded image of a three-dimensional model requires assumption of light sources with specific directions and intensities. Contour images are also rendered based on the same assumptions of light sources. This tutorial explains how to set the directions and intensities of the light sources. Choose Ray Direction item from Change Light Source submenu. Then, the light source setting panel pops up. There are three sets of light source items, which means, three light sources can be defined. The direction of each light source is displayed as an arrow, on the sphere. Each of them can be turned on, or off. The intensity of the light source can be set by choosing an item of, 1 to 10 scale, from the drop-down list. We can click, and select an arrow, and move its position by dragging. The direction of a light source is newly determined by its position, and accordingly, the shade of the contour image is also changed. The arrow in light gray color indicates that it is on the back side of the sphere, and can be moved only on the back side. By clicking the arrow while pressing Control key, we can send the arrow from front to back, or bring to front, and move on the front side. Check Instant Update box, then, the shading image changes instantly, following the the arrow movement. We can notice the shading image being instantly updated, while dragging the arrow. If we rotate the view direction, using the virtual trackball, the light source arrows also rotates, in accordance with, rotation of the model view. This implies that the light directions are defined in the model coordinates. If we check relative to view direction item, the arrows do not rotate, while the model view is being rotated. In this case, the light directions are defined in the screen coordinates. We can easily notice the difference of shading updates, between the cases with, and without checking, relative to view direction, box. Pressing, reset, button recovers the previously saved light source settings. Pressing, save, button saves the current setting to the model data file. The light sources can be defined independently for each model file as demonstrated so far. There is also a preference setting of light sources, that is, a default setting initially applied for all modeling projects. Select Preferences item from Edit menu. Then, the Preference dialog pops up. Choose Light tap. We get the pane of light source, which is the same as the light source setting panel shown before. The method of setting this preference pane is the same as that of the light source panel. However, this preference setting is applied for all modeling projects in the future. This is the end of this tutorial for light source setting.